Hello and welcome to the Thursday, February 16th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Diary by Rob today about, uh, well, uh, sort of passive uh, DNS uh, recon platforms. These uh, platforms typically collect uh, DNS queries at uh, various uh, choke points and uh, then are summarizing them so you can for example query and that's the example that Rob used all the host names or all the DNS queries that were looked up for a particular domain like sans.edu. Rob is using Cisco Umbrella here uh, to show how uh, this uh, type of b- passive DNS information works and how to script against it. Umbrella, of course, going with OpenDNS has plenty of data to mine here. They also make historic data available, so not just currently valid DNS records. For any kind of sort of scoping, uh, reconnaissance for a pen test or such, this is certainly very valuable information. Also find it valuable to, for example, look at like lookalike or imposter domains, but uh, also to look, for example, Example at additional subdomains that you may find in a particular domain that, for example, has been compromised and where attackers have started to add malicious records to a particular domain. In addition to Cisco Umbrella, there is, for example, also domain tools with its acquisition of Farsight, which also runs a large database of passive DNS information. And GitHub updated its Copilot artificial intelligent uh, coding assistance. Uh, the way a Copilot works is that it sort of provides suggestion as you're typing. So it basically works as an advanced uh, type ahead system that you often find in IDEs. The problem here they're addressing is, of course, first of all, that it's suggested outright in secure code. So they're now avoiding some bad practices here in code they're suggesting. The other issue uh, there fixing is Copilot is based on, well, a large database of code that was used to train a Copilot. And if you, for example, uh, had Copilot create some code to retrieve data from an API, it may have added an API key. According uh, to uh, GitHub, this API key was always fictitious. It was not an API key that they found in training data, but they're no going further and uh, will block anything that is an API key or credentials from uh, the suggestion. These apparent uh, secrets uh, caused a lot of uh, criticism suggesting that uh, the secrets were picked up uh, from code that was used to train a copilot. Don't think that was ever sort of really specifically resolved and redacting uh, those secrets, fictitious or not, is probably the right thing to do. And remember the old days when you were able to start a car without a key by just disconnecting some wires in the ignition and then uh, basically just uh, connecting them with each other. Well, uh, the equivalent of that in the modern days is a problem with Hyundai cars that has been popularized on social media, where apparently all it takes is a USB cable in order to start a car. This problem is now being addressed by Hyundai with a software patch. The underlying issue here apparently is that there is no immobilizing anti-theft device in these cars. So that's sort of what prevents you just from basically driving away with a car by just starting the engine by crossing the wires. Well, uh, the software update is supposedly going uh, to uh, fix the problem and it will be made available over the next uh, few months. And we got a few miscellaneous uh, vulnerabilities. Uh, Firefox received an update fixing, among other vulnerabilities, a spoofing vulnerability that could uh, basically confuse you as to uh, what uh, website you're visiting. HA proxy, the high availability uh, proxy, received a security update fixing an HTTP content smuggling attack. We 
Also, uh, do have updates uh, for Citrix. Citrix fixed a number of problems in uh, various uh, pieces of its software. So double check if you are affected. For example, uh, Citrix virtual apps and desktop are affected uh, by some of uh, these vulnerabilities. Citrix uh, workspace app. So uh, double check you know, what you have uh, vulnerable here. Maybe easy to miss some of this with, of course, Patch Tuesday with uh, Windows uh, patches just coming out uh, yesterday. Well, and that's it for today. Uh, thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.